And just in case you only have cash on you, it's going to be okay. Well, Philadelphia wants everyone to have the option of using paper money when paying the cashier. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore is live at City Hall with more on what the cashless store ban means for Philadelphians. Crystal. Good morning, Jim and Natasha. Well, the ban was supposed to go into effect a few months ago, but it was delayed until today to give businesses more time to comply. Now, we spent some time out here this morning asking people whether they support the law, and some say they support it, others are quite on the fence. Now, Sweet Green and Bluestone Lane are two examples of Philadelphia businesses that have adopted cashless policies at some point over the last few years. Now, the cashless ban in Philadelphia sparked national attention when you might recall Mayor Jim Kenney. He first signed off on the bill back in February. Now, it prevents most retail locations from refusing to take cash. Now, this does not include parking garages, internet transactions, or even wholesale clubs that operate on a membership model. Now, this law also prevents retail businesses from charging people who use cash an extra fee. Some business owners who have gone cashless say that it increases safety, efficiency, and it reduces theft because cashiers aren't handling bills. But some argue the practice is discriminatory. I don't have a card. I'm working on trying to get my direct deposit set up, but my thing is, is they don't always do it on time and have to go back and forth to pick up your check, different stuff like that. So I understand with not having a card. So yes, they should allow it and keep on going. People should be able to use cash without any problem. Everybody don't have credit cards. It cuts down on crime and um, theft and all of that there. So I can see their um, um, side of it too. So it's two sides of it. And of course, if you don't comply with the law, you could be faced with a hefty fine of $2,000. For now, we're live outside City Hall. Crystal Cranmore, CBS3 Eyewitness News.